Color Finale 2 Hot Questions Answered. All the answers you need right now. We've added time codes for each question. Check the description for these and feel free to skip around. Let's begin. Does Color Finale 2 work with Apple Silicon? Yes, Color Finale 2.6.2 works with Apple Silicon. It requires Final Cut Pro version 10.6.3. If you already have a license and want to install or update Color Finale to the latest version, you can simply download the trial and enter your existing license information when prompted by the installer. How do I begin working with Color Finale 2? To begin working with Color Finale 2, find it in the Effects Browser. Drag and drop the plugin right onto the clip you want to adjust. Show the plugin if it's hidden. If you're on version 2.6 or later, put the inspector to full height by double clicking on its title bar. Keep the plugin selected when working with it. You'll know it's selected when you see a yellow line around the inspector controls. Do I have Color Finale 2 Standard or Pro? Easily check whether you have Color Finale Standard or Pro and which version you're on by looking at the top of the plugins inspector. You can update from standard to pro from our store. How do I open up the Color Finale Layers panel? Head to the Opened Inspector and click on the Edit Layers button. A free-floating, resizable window opens that lets you add and use the available tools with a single click. Color wheels, RGB curves, six vectors, HSL curves. Click on the double arrow button to see additional tools. Join several layers together to form groups. Apply LUTs and presets from your collections. How do I create my own presets in Color Finale 2 Pro? After adding your layers, you can save them as they are for later use. Click on the free dot button and choose Save as Preset. Give it a name and now this preset will be available to be used later. The Presets Gallery holds all your saved looks. How do I access the 80 free built-in presets? You need to be on Color Finale 2 version 2.6.2 at minimum. In the Inspector, find Recent Presets and select More. Now browse preset packs available for purchase and download the free pack by scrolling down and clicking Install. The free presets will now show up in the Presets browser. How do I create a LUT in Color Finale 2 Pro? To save your layers as a LUT file, click the free dot button at the top of the Color Finale Inspector and choose Export as LUT. Enter a name and save it to a folder. Done. How do I add my own LUTs to Color Finale 2? From the free dot button at the top of the inspector, go to Preferences and select the cube icon. That's the second tab. Now click on the plus and select the folders with your LUTs or the root disk if you want to load all the LUTs on your computer. If you have a lot of LUTs scattered around and you find yourself wishing you could view and preview them all from one place, we make a standalone app called LUT Manager. Check it out, link in the description. To view all the LUTs that have been loaded into Color Finale 2, go to the Layers panel and click on the Insert LUT or Preset button. How do I apply a mask to a layer? Masks are part of Color Finale 2 Pro. In the Layers panel, choose a layer or a layer group, right click, Add Mask. You can also click on the icon at the bottom of the layers with the selection still active. Each layer now has a mask icon next to it. Click on this icon to view the layer's mask options. How do I draw a mask? There are several ways to add a mask over the image. Rectangle, ellipse, edge, piece plank path, bezier path, image mask, HSL mask. Draw a completely custom mask with either the B-spline or the bezier path options. Choosing one of these two from the Layers panel puts an initial line over the image. We can drag it over to our starting point. Next, in the viewer, we can select the drawing mode and then draw the rest of the mask. 
in order for the mask to be completed, the last point you add must always end up on top of the first one. Refine the positions of individual points afterwards. You can also select either the B-spline or Bezier drawing modes right from the on-screen viewer menu. In this case, instead of an initial line appearing, you pick the first point yourself. I don't see the mask controls while drawing a mask. If the viewer menu controls, eye droppers, image analysis or other tools don't appear to work, make sure you have the plugin selected in the inspector. This is shown by a yellow border. After selecting the plugin, you can head back to working with masks. All the elements will pop back out in the viewer. Still have questions? Leave them in the comments. Consider subscribing to our channel for more help, tutorials and giveaways. Goodbye.